Hey guys, that might give me back here for that video. Guys, welcome back to the episode of my Baltimore Ravens franchise series. Today we're taking on the Miami Dolphins. We had a tough game last week versus the New York Jets. I did not expect to be as close as it was. Went ahead and won the game 17 to 14, but we were in a stinker when it came to defense. Absolutely not what we expected going into that game. Right here, though, second and 10. Lamarco Boy is going to take off running. Something he did not do much of last week was run the ball as much. Uh, he very much tried to throw the ball. As right here, he does throw a touchdown pass to Mark Andrews. Absolute god. But nonetheless, though, last week did not throw the ball that much. And I'm oh, sorry, he did not run the ball that much. And that was really kind of a downside. Now, it's always a questionable thing when it comes to mobile quarterbacks. Because we want to keep Lamar healthy for 18 games, right? As right here, a new addition to the Baltimore Ravens. Kyle Fuller from the Chicago Bears. Touchdown, Ravens. 14-0 already. I'm trying to speak in this team is scoring tutties. Anyway, though, like I was saying, like I was saying, uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's hard to keep a mobile quarterback healthy for 18 games. Lamar goes down last year with an injury, misses half the season, really hurts Baltimore not being able to make the playoffs. Lamar wants to win a Super Bowl. He's on that contract year. He wants to go ahead and play all 18 games. So him not running the ball as much makes perfect sense. We got all three of our halfbacks back healthy and ready to go. Uh, so something I want to see more of and John has been looking more into of just running the football, you know, get the running backs active. Uh, we don't have to see Lamar go out there and throw the ball 40 times a game. It would be nice. As right here, a blown coverage by Marcus Peters. Something we saw last week, and we can't keep seeing this happen, is blown coverages like that. As right here, Lamar takes a couple hits before he gets actually one yard on the play. But stuff like that, Lamar taking unnecessary hits. You know, like I said before, we don't need to see Lamar throw the ball 40 times a game. Pass interference. Let's go. Good, good call by the refs right there. They couldn't stop Mark Andrews. But if he does ball 40 times a game, he's just going to, you know, rest be for disaster. If he takes off running like this all the time, it's not going to be good. So, with that being said, that's our main key right now. Run the football. As right there, ball right off the receiver's hands. Definitely not great. Run the football. And then for defense, we just got to go ahead and make sure we capitalize off of, you know, inaccurate passes. When they throw bad passes, we got to make sure we're getting to the quarterback and taking the ball away. And I'll be honest, I'm thinking about, currently thinking about, picking up another receiver for the offense. I'm not, we're not going to go out there and make a crazy trade. We're not going out there and getting, you know, Devontae Adams. But there's a couple free agents that are kind of interesting. One of them being Cole Beasley. He definitely interests me. Maybe add him to the squad. And then other players out there, you know, the Bucks just got Julio Jones. Maybe we could go ahead and throw a draft pick at them and try to get Julio. So, again, like I said, there's a lot of different pieces out there we could target. And I'm thinking about targeting it, especially if we saw it really kicking it off. I mean, we're one know right now. If we win this game with 2-0... You know, we're looking pretty dang good. The Steelers lost their matchup week one. The, I think the Browns also lost their matchup. So, we're looking good in the division. And right now, the Steelers are down 7-0 into the Patriots. So, <clears throat> listen. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying, you know, there's a chance. Third and 15 here. And the Ravens are going to go for it on fourth and five. Ballsy call. But, you know, you do it when you have someone like Lamar Jackson. Who can just outrun a whole entire defense? Absolutely remarkable of him. Right here, first down, 10. We pass the right hand side, caught by Devin Duvernay. Another first down before halftime here. Obviously, trying to capitalize and get a tutty as Mark Andrews get down to the 25 yard line. First down, 10. Now at the 25, clock is ticking. Lamar rolls out to his left hand side, takes off running. Picks up the first down and picks up a touchdown. As I said this going into this game, we did not want to run the ball that much with Lamar. So far, Lamar has over 10 rushes in this game, which again, like I said, the goal is not to let that happen, but sometimes we do have to let Lamar be Lamar, okay? He's remarkable for a reason. That's his name 
for a reason. He makes, you know, he's Houdini, as uh, one of the announcers said. Nonetheless, though, right here, we got to get a defensive stop in the second half here. Got to get the ball back to our offense and not allow them to score a tutty. Down to the one here. First and goal now at the one yard line. They're going to run a pitch play. And we had them shut down on the play and they break two tackles to get a touchdown. Making sure you secure those tackles. Very, very important. Right here, though, Lamarcable is going to take off running yet again. And I mean, listen, he has Truss activated. Finally, J.K. Dobbins runs the football and gets absolutely no yardage. Looks like they might start run. No, never mind. I was going to say might start running the ball with J.K. Dobbins, but it looks like Lamar is going to take off running again. Third down and eight here, though. Pass down the field completed. J.K. Dobbins does not pick up a first down, so J.K. will take the ball the next play later. Up the middle here to a pass midfield to the 40-yard line. First down and 10 now. Play action pass. Looking down the field. Andrews wide open. Lamar just misses him on the play. Second down and 10 here. It's going to go ahead and be a raw to the right-hand side. Check down to Nick Boyle. Down to around the 25-yard line. A read option play by Lamar Jackson. Takes off running here and gets down to around the 7-yard line. Fourth quarter of football. Ravens up by 7 in the Grillmates red zone. And that's going to be a touchdown for J.K. Dobbins. Touchdown Ravens. First down and 10 here. Raw to the right-hand side. Looking down the field for Bridgewater, completes it to almost midfield. Now first down 10 at the 47 yard line. It's going to go ahead and be a raw to the right hand side. Looking down the field again, another completion down to the 48 yard line. Second down and five here. Looking down the field and another blown coverage. This time by the man who got the pick six earlier in the game, Kyle Fuller, gives up a huge tutty to Tyreek Hill. I mean, it's one of those things where it's really hard to shut down Tyreek Hill. But next play later, Lamarkable, 74 yards to pay dirt. I, honestly, I, there's not much I can say about this man other than he is Lamarkable. One of the best quarterbacks in, in the NFL. I mean, this could be a 2019 MVP season again. With how he's looking now i will say you know if we are gonna keep this offense rolling at the pace we are we're definitely gonna be looking to pick up another receiver but fourth and eight here pass right hand side is broken up baltimore takes back over here at the 29 yard line looking to score yet again jk dobbins here up the middle for a couple yards seven yards total second down and three another run by lamarkable and he will pick up another first down. Before the two-minute warning here, though, it's going to go ahead and be another one by Lamarkable. And he does go ahead and muscle hamster his way in. Call him MJD. Touchdown, Ravens. Now up by 21 points with two minutes to go. And Miami is just trying to pad their stats here as they are going to just try to do simple dink and dunk passes down the field. No two a Tagalola. He is hurt for this game. So it is all Teddy Bridgewater trying to muster his own offense up. And so far, he's actually been playing pretty dang good this game. You got to give him his props against his Ravens defense. He's been actually playing a pretty decent, you know, clean game so far. But you know what it is? It's really hard to say that way against Baltimore because Baltimore has dogs. And all dogs, we like to hunt. And you know what happens when we hunt? They get down to the one yard line, but it doesn't matter. Second and goal here at the one yard line. Gonna be a pass. Looking, looking. Bridgewater throws it away. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Marlon Humphreys pick six ravens win it 49 to 21 hey guys watching peace out